Hey guys and welcome to Horses KL. So uh, ever since I've recorded a video about perplexity and clot, I've been getting questions about how to write SEO optimized long form content. And for those of you wondering and for those of you who have been living under a rock for the past uh, two weeks, perplexity.ai now has a pro version. And when you go to settings, you can actually choose your AA model from Perplexity itself, GPT-4 or Cloud 2 and I've been using Cloud 2 almost exclusively and uh, today's uh, keyword in question is how to start trips and mining at home and the first prompt we're going to be using let me go to new threads we'll use the all mode and this is the prompt extract 100 highly semantically related LSA keywords as a common separated list for the top five performing articles for how to start crypto mining at home. And even though I'm using the pro version, you can still do, do the same with the free version. So this is a free version, I'm not signed in, and I've used the same prompt to get a list of highly relevant keywords. So back to perplexity. And however, with the pro version, it works better just because it's being summarized by Claude 2. So these are our keywords. And first off, I wanted to check the validity of these OSI keywords. So what I did, I actually went to NeuroWriter, even though you don't have to. It's just a validation tool in this case. And I went ahead and copied all the keywords, like so. And as you can see, if you copy all the keywords that uh, NeuroWriter suggests, the optimization score is 29, so just be mindful of that number, 29. Let's get rid of these keywords and reset everything. So it's 19, 19 because I have title and meta pre-populated. And let's just check uh, again the validity of the perplexities LSI keywords. I will paste them here. I'll get rid of the artifacts, citations, and so this sentence here and oh my god so so the number is 34 instead of 29 so when you do lsa keywords with perplexity you are getting a higher seo score in neurowriter <laughs> against the uh, keywords that are native to neurowriter so this means that so these keywords are not random they are valid and they are based on the top performing results so with this in mind, and this is our first prompt, let's run the second prompt. And this will all act as a context window. So the second prompt goes like this. Extract an SEO-optimized article outline based on the top five articles for a C keyword of how to start crypto mining at home. And I'm asking Perplexity and Claude to use Roman letters. And this is just to uh, streamline the process to make it a little bit easier. So this is the outline, again, which is SEO optimized and based on real results. Intro, choosing a crypto mining, choosing a cryptocurrency to mine, setting mining hardware, setting up mining software, mining at home versus cloud mining, blah, blah, blah. So we have six, seven, eight, nine subheadings, and this is going to be important. Now what we can do is run the third prompt, which uh, reads, Use markdown formatting with bolded words lists and tables to write a detailed section for subheading one and include as many keywords, phrases, and OSI keywords listed above as possible. And I can actually substitute a detailed section for 500 words. I won't be doing that in this example, but you can. And this way you will get an even longer article. And just to double check, section one was the introduction. And let me get rid of this and let me populate the title. How to start crypto mining at home. Just say 2023. And we'll make it an H1. Okay. So the first section is ready. As you can see, it contains bolded words, lists, and tables. So we'll just copy this like so. We'll go to free mark, uh, free mark down to HTML. And I will get rid of all the artifacts later. Just get rid of this first one. 
and then I'll tidy it up later. And again, we'll just be using the same prompt uh, again and again. So use markdown formatting with both of course list and tables, and I'll just substitute subheading one for subheading two, choosing cryptocurrency to mine. And again, we are receiving or getting bolded words, lists and tables, which looks nice and neat. Okay. And once again, I'm not, uh, I don't care about the artifacts. I will tidy them up later. Okay, subheading three. And now I will post the video to do the remaining sections. So, okay, all the sections have been prepared. And as you can see, and Perplexity is occasionally using some external links as well. So, okay, let's copy everything. FH2s, okay. And we are already at 61, so we are matching the best result. Let me just tidy everything up to see the final score because it may change. So we'll get rid of citations. We'll tidy up the headings. So looks like we are done and we are, we are at 61. So 62 is the best score and I think that this is a fantastic result. And of course, if we wanted to just go crazy and I deliberately didn't do any FAQs. We can just go to A writing, FAQ with the news terms, and click write for me. And this will, <laughs> this bumps it up to 78. And if you don't have access to a new writer, there is another trick. So you basically go back to perplexity and you ask the following question, how many in percentage in percentages of the keywords have you used in the above article. And it will tell you a rough percentage, and then this way you know if there is room for further optimization. Based on the analysis, blah blah blah, here are my estimates, percentage of keywords used, 68. And then you, just, you can just go rewrite the last section and include the remaining 32%, and this way you will get your SEO score even higher. So this was it. I think uh, Perplexity is shaping up to be one of the best LSI extraction tools as well. And now, once they, uh, since they've introduced Claude, this is becoming a powerhouse. So this is not the biggest article, as you can see. This is uh, 2,000 words. If I did um, write a 500-word section instead of a detailed section, maybe we would have gotten to 3,000 words. I don't know. But I think this is a very readable article with list set tables and everything is factual. So this is up to date. So hope this video was helpful and I'll see you next time.